the last day of qualifying proved to be a frenzied one as more than a dozen candidates signed up to run on the final day, bringing the grand total of mayoral candidates to 18. Entering the race, local businessman Troy Henry, he ran unsuccessfully for the office in 2010. He joins a diverse group of candidates like Frank Skurlock, who's been campaigning for weeks. Also signing up on Friday, a doctor, a 22-year-old from Algiers, and many others. They join candidates like Michael Bagnaris, Desiree Charbonnet, and Latoya Cantrell, who've been campaigning for weeks. By now, you know my commitment to New Orleans. The day started with an announcement from local businessman Sidney Torres. Widely mentioned as a candidate, he's not getting into the race, but has started a political action committee and plans to eventually financially back a candidate. City Councilwoman Stacy Head is not running for mayor and is termed out of her at-large council seat, but came to the courthouse just before qualifying ended and held an unusual impromptu presser. The pay to play rumors have already started. Three times this week I've been told that the amount is between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars to get a seat at the table of potentially getting contracts in the future in the city of New Orleans. We asked Head if she'll support a candidate. Are you frustrated with the field of candidates for mayor? I am holding out hope for our city and I am sure that one of these candidates is going to rise to the level that they get the support of the citizens of New Orleans.